you must have seen some breeds of household animals having especially shinier fur or strong immunity to certain diseases. You must have heard that golden retrievers are one of the most loyal and human-friendly dogs, whereas Samoyeds are the ones that have one of the best furs. According to surveys, even life expectancy in African countries is substantially lower than in North American nations. What kind of characteristics affect these fluctuations? Most of these characteristics come from the organism's genes, or their DNA structure, to be specific. What if there was a way to extract these desirable qualities from their genes and give them to other organisms to spread these characteristics? If a particular animal is at risk of blood-related diseases, removing the gene that forces this vulnerability will help remove this problem. Similarly, the agriculture industry would be much more profitable if we could enhance existing crops to reduce their unnecessary effects. All of this is possible using genetic engineering. So, what is genetic engineering? Genetic engineering is the process of altering a DNA structure by either adding or removing genes from it to form a newer gene framework with desirable characteristics. It can be applied to both animals and plants, since both are living organisms with their own DNA structures. The resultant organism is often called a GMO, a genetically modified organism. The production and study of genetically engineered organisms became possible after Bob Fraley, among others, transformed plant cells with new DNA fragments in the early 1980s. Humans have been modifying creatures through breeding for a long time. Over many years, breeders have had techniques that make for certain animal features, such as corn, cows, and even dogs. But recent developments in biotechnology have made it possible for researchers to directly alter the DNA of animals, plants, and microbes. There are usually two variations of genetic engineering. The first variant has the original DNA structure of an organism fused with some foreign genes to introduce newer characteristics or features in the resultant GMO. For example, plant genes are often used with certain germicidal cells to facilitate long-term growth. The second type features the removal of certain genes from a DNA structure to eliminate certain behavior or characteristics that may be unwanted in the GMO. For example, Removing a particular gene or enzyme from a species reduces its chances of falling prey to cancerous tumors. With so much investment in digital Scientology, scientists don't have to create thousands of experiments and store them physically. Experiments on genome structures are further accelerated and easier to mass propagate since the advent of machine learning and artificial learning. Organizations like Google's Deep Variant and Deep Genomics have machine learning models to facilitate easier drug tests and gene sequencing projects. Another institution, Sophia Genetics, has made progress using AI models to prescribe personalized medications for cancer patients and other diseases. Scientists have also been able to perform gene cloning, which is essentially the process of creating an exact duplicate of base DNA material. This is especially helpful in medical fields, where gene cloning can accelerate the rapid testing of vaccines and serums. But where does genetic engineering find its use in today's world? One, genetic engineering technology is widely used to modify crop plants' genotypes to increase their productivity, nutritional value, protein content, resistance to disease, and fertilizer usage. High-yielding grain, pulse, and vegetable crops can be produced using recombinant DNA technology and tissue culture techniques. Two, it is possible to generate large quantities of important medications, vaccines, enzymes, and hormones at minimal cost by manipulating microorganisms and plant-based materials. Vaccines created with gene cloning technology do not possess any contaminants and are completely safe. Three, Energy crops for biofuels that produce large amounts of biomass that may be turned into fuel, oils, alcohols, diesel, or other petroleum products can now be bioengineered to grow rapidly. These wastes can then be converted into energy. Four, the majority of GMO animals are created for use in scientific experiments. These animals serve as models for studying the operation of certain genes, often concerning how the genes affect health and illness. However, some GMO animals, like salmon fish, are created for human consumption. However, there are a few risks associated with genetic engineering. 
The likelihood of unexpected allergy risks from some GMO foods increases due to genetic engineering. Another worry is the potential for the genetically altered foreign DNA to spread to non-GMO plants and animals. Apart from food, animals that have been genetically modified may have unanticipated genetic deficiencies or diseases. Research needs to be thorough and well moderated before running these experiments to avoid loss of life or resources in the long run. So, here is a question for you. Which animal was the first genetically modified organism created in 1974? 1. Mouse 2. Cat 3. Frog Give the correct answer and reasoning and stand a chance to win an Amazon voucher. Think about it and leave your answers in the comments section and we will provide the answer next week. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Here's your reminder to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more on the latest technologies and trends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.